Bruce, welcome to London. Thank you. On what really is a very short visit this time. Seven it? days. Yeah. Seven days. What's the purpose of the visit? Well, I have a record out by my group called California Music that I, I sing with, and I also have a new label called Equinox that Terry Melcher and I own, and I'm just kind of promoting both entities. Mm. Let's turn the clock back, Campbell, uh, really, to the point where you and the Beach Boys party company. What made you decide, actually, to leave the group? I felt I was being lazy and unproductive. We all felt tense with one another. I'm surprised we didn't all quit. And I kind of have some other ambitions in the business, production ambitions and arranging ambitions, and I was very restricted. And I felt in order to kind of realize these ambitions and save the friendships with the guys, I should leave, and I left. You say you're feeling lazy. Lazy. Bruce, in, in what sense? Well, when you've got five guys in a group, you have two albums, you have 22 tracks, if that, and you divide five guys writing into 22 tracks, you might have a little over four songs a year, and that's crazy. So I left. Mm. Yeah. What about the, the, the touring situation, though, with the group at that time? I mean, were you not feeling particularly content in that situation either? I didn't feel that we really were singing believable, believable lyrics. You know, we were just kind of sliding through the songs, and I just had to leave. Mm. Did you know Terry Marcher at that point? Oh, I've known Terry since 1958. Mm. Long time. I mean, had you and he been talking? Oh, we talked a month before I left the group about putting something together. I left the group, went home, phoned him, and he was asleep. Phoned him again, he was out. I phoned him again, and he was in the <laughs> hospital with two broken legs for six months. Yeah. So it gave me kind of a year to uh, uh, plan my future and to travel and to read and to think and talk to Terry and just decide what he what we both wanted to really do mm. and that's actually really I suppose how <laughs> Equinix came about that's right yeah how long has that really been in the planning we've been in business six months we've been planning it for almost a year and a half and in the interim uh, I've played a few Beach Boy concerts and uh, I have uh, what I term my visitation rights and uh, I've played in a couple albums since then. And we're pretty mm. good old friends, and I've even stolen Carl for a couple things with Elton on yeah. some backing vocals. Yeah. It's good. So uh, tell me about the label itself and the kind of people that you're going to get involved with. Basically, we're trying to get involved with singer-songwriters, and uh, the label's a small label that offers enough artistic freedom and enough of uh, a label following a big corporation's business procedures and we kind of blend that and it's a good atmosphere to be cutting in, I think. Mm. Who are you planning to record? Well, I should just tell you that uh, mostly we're involved with unknowns except that we've cut an album with Barry Mann and Barry and Cynthia, Barry's wife, mm. have written 48, you won't believe this, no, 45 top tens and 168 chart records that they've written and they wrote things like You've Lost That loving all feeling and just walking in the rain and all these other, all these others. Who are you using on that album? I'm using the band that uh, is our house band and uh, the guy that leads the band is Bill House and he was Little Richard's band leader and he's 23 and he's white and he was the only white man in this black band. It was fabulous watching him. Uh -huh. And then we snagged him for our label. Let's go back again to mm. the Beach Boys, Bruce, because you talk about still having visitation rights and I know that you are very close <laughs> still with the band. I mean, they've always struck me, the chemistry of the band, in a sense, has always struck me as being a fairly complex one. Mm. Uh, I mean, do you find that, that in a sense, they, they do work off one another still in the way that they used to? Yes, they do. I'm only sorry that Brian isn't in there with them, but uh, mm. he has his private ambitions, and there's just not enough room for us, or, uh, pardon me, for, for the guys anymore, and it's a shame. They just worked... The guys just worked with Brian in Caribou, but uh, they were only able to squeeze two tracks out mm. of it all. Mm. The Battle Hymn of the Republic, if you ever heard that American song, oh, yeah. and something else. Yeah. But Brian uh, went home. Because in a way, there does seem to be a paradox to me in the sense that Endless Summer, which is a 20-track record of, in a sense, the Beach Boys' greatest hits up till 1966, sells a million-plus copies. And yet something like Holland, for example, which I think is such a superb album, just about manages to creep into the th top 30 over there. I mean, do you find that they are suffering, in a sense, from this kind of paradox at the moment? Record 
wise, yes. Appearance wise, no. Uh, I talked to Mike and Al Thursday night before I flew over here Friday, and they said, Bruce, you won't believe it. We've just made 60,000 pounds playing one concert, the most money the group ever made in a night in America. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. What's that the result of, though? Is that the result of Endless Summer? That's the result of uh, leaving one label, moving to another, and working for four years to bring it back. Mm. Because there was a time that the Beach Boys uh, were out of favor with Americans. And that's probably why you saw us a lot in 68, <laughs> 69, and 70. Here we were every minute, you know. Can I ask you your favorite Beach Boys album, Chris? Uh, Pet Sounds, of course. Mm. The best album that Brian ever wrote and arranged. Because one of my own personal favorites, I must admit, is Surf's Up which I, I think rates almost against anything. And uh, in fact, I enjoyed your contribution to that. Well, right? it's funny, I sat downstairs and conned you into this, but I want to play Disney Girls. I never got to play this in England. I left the group too soon. <laughs> too soon. Excuse me.